in a time when school safety is top of mind for both parents and children, Hayes County Commissioners approved a resolution today supporting 15 additional school resource officers for Hayes CISD, but the district says those positions could take years to fill. So as KXN's Sarah Alsheh explains, in the meantime, Hayes CISD says it's left deciding between a school marshal program or a guardian program. We asked them about weapons. Was it personal weapon or did the district purchase them? A list of questions. We asked about weapon safes at home for schools. It's what Hayes CISD is asking school districts across the state regarding their school marshal or guardian program. A school marshal is meant to protect students from armed intruders. A guardian plan allows qualified teachers to carry an armed weapon. Guardians can constantly carry their gun, but marshals must keep theirs in a lockbox until needed. Needed. It's not as simple as just having a gun on campus. KCISD Head of District Safety Jerry Scrocky says it's what they have to do in the meantime as they try to fill their 15 school resource officer positions. There is a law enforcement shortage out there, um, so we're very reasonable in understanding that that's probably a years-long process to work towards that eventuality. This comes as new legislation, House Bill 3, requires school districts to have at least one armed security officer at every campus. Hayes CISD claimed a good cause exception, allowing them to come up with an alternative plan. You know, they didn't tell us how long that exception was good for. So for now, Scrocky says they're looking at guardian and school marshal programs as possible alternatives until they can get more SROs. I've got my team actually calling across the state. We can really figure out what's the best fit for Hayes CISD. Tuesday, Hayes County Commissioners approved a resolution supporting the district having SROs at each campus, but even commissioners understood that's easier said than done. Fully support, just hope we can actually get officers to fill those positions. Right. Sarah Alshah, KXAN News. And Scrocky says this year they were able to add three more SROs. They currently have a total of 15. She hopes to continue adding SROs every year, but says it does take time to train qualified peace officers and to find the right officer for the job.